Hello, Leo, and welcome to your love message, weekly love messages. I really can't speak. <laughs> I can't even blame it on time tonight. So if you've been with me before, you know that I start my love readings with an angel answer oracle card. And it either answers your question at the end of the reading. Wow. Or it becomes a part of the reading. So I don't look at it either. We're going to start the reading now with a romance angel oracle card for Leo. If this resonates or if you enjoy the reading, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. If it doesn't resonate, please check your rising sign or your Venus sign because it may resonate more because it's a love reading. Whoopsie. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I guess you guys need some time to yourselves because this always makes me think of, you know, they just got married and they just want to have a little alone time. Wow. Who couldn't use that, right? As a couple. <laughs> right now, a lot of people are having a little too much alone time. Okay. Let's see here. Leo, love reading. Okay. Leo, love reading. Leo love reading. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay, go. I said stop. I heard that stop. Thank you. Aha. Check this out. This is success. This is an offer. You know, I know it talks about publishing, but this to me is, let's see. Ooh, the devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or maybe there's been some toxic issues or it's just been, you know, a little obsessive and things are, you know what? <laughs> okay. So the devil card, it shows two people tied together and it's about toxicity. But if it's time to retreat, this could mean other things. So this means this is an opportunity. I feel like this opportunity is to end whatever this devil behavior has been because you got the wheel of fortune, which is things turning in your favor and you show up, Leo. Here's a lion, here's a Taurus, the bull. So this to me says the wheels of fortune turning in your favor. This behavior is going away. You've been putting in the, uh, the work and now, well, you've just been working and working, but coming out a new person, walking away from old behavior. And I would say walking away from old behavior because this to me symbolizes that there's an offer, but there, there was some stuff going on here that just was not good, but things are changing. So I almost want to say that this devil stuff, it may have been more circumstance than actual behavior. You have the world card. Once again, Leo shows up. Maybe you're dealing with another Leo. But you're coming out to the world as a new person, walking away from whoever this old person was, and moving on to calmer shores. Now, I have to say, for me, I get this. I know some Leos that this is very appropriate for. But I'm not going to say anything more than that. I'm just going to say that these are people, this is a Leo who definitely needs they need time to, you know, put in the work in the relationship so they could start new in a more calmer fashion. So I don't even know if I need to add to this. I'm going to ask the cards, but to me, this is things getting better anyway. The Wheel of Fortune, the World, the Six of Swords. Yeah, see, this is walking away from, remember I said, you're leaving the old, the old way. 
you know, I know that the Eight of Cups can be read as walking away from the relationship. But to me, with the retreating, I feel like it's walking away from the other stuff, you know, having your time away from the other stuff. Let's see here. Anything else? Whoops, for Leo. Yeah, and you know what I said about walking away from the other stuff? And you got the chariot and the four of pentacles. This to me is that movement away from that stuck energy. What I've been saying, you're not walking away. I don't think it's a walking away from each other. I think that this retreat starts the message as you're walking away from this stuck energy. There is movement. It's not physical movement in the beginning, but this is the movement in your mind and how you're planning. So looks great to me, Leo. So here we go. You ready? What's your angel answer? answer? Yes. <laughs> what was your question? Yes. An emphatic yes. Not just yes, but yes. Yes. Can you say that, Leo? Yes. And this to me. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help but get excited sometimes. This is awesome. So whatever's been going on, that stuck energy that needs to go, it's, it's going away. Things are going to get better. It is going to work out. You just need to take time for yourselves. So thank you so much. And oh, as always, you know, if this person is truly toxic and this is not a good relationship, then it is actually walking away from the person and getting out of that stuck energy and getting stuck out of that behavior. But this is also could be circumstance. So technically there are two readings, but either way, the answer is yes. So if you're wondering if you should walk away from somebody, it could be yes. Are you wondering if this is, you know, this person that you should retreat and, you know, move on to uh, a new phase or a new way of the world seeing each other? The world card here could be engagement, marriage, moving in together, because the world sees you as a different person. So there's a few different stories here, Leo, but let me know if it resonates. This is awesome. I wish you the best. Good luck. And don't forget, take time for you. Bye, Leo.